Good evening. The new year was ushered in by revolution in good spirits around the country, but there was still tragedy. Two people died in firearms incidents, one near Fakatane and the other at Featherston in the Waited Upper. In Tauranga, an eight-year-old died in a blaze in a parked trailer yacht, and on the roads, one person was killed. Party girls were generally well behaved, even at Wanaka in the South Island, where big crowds gathered with little sign of the trouble that's marred previous years. As usual, Wanaka was jam-packed with holiday makers on New Year's Eve. This year, extra police from Christchurch and Dunedin were in town in case of trouble. In the past, excessive drinkings resulted in violence. This year, most of the booze seemed to be going everywhere but into people's mouths. 18 people were arrested for disorderly behaviour, but police say they were generally happy with the situation given the thousands of people present. And some people showed they were happy with the police too. Across the mountains in Queenstown, the new year arrived with fireworks and dancing. Again, a large contingent of police, but most seemed happy about working New Year's Eve. Celebrations continued high and low through until four o'clock this morning. In Auckland, there was little outside activity, but the town hall proved a popular venue for young people. In Christchurch, thousands of people crowded into Cathedral Square for the free entertainment. The alcohol ban didn't affect the mood of the party. But for one Christchurch family, the new year will bring heartbreak. Their home was destroyed by fire while they were away on holiday, along with two other fires in the city. Christchurch, a swimmer has drowned in waters off the north and New Brighton beaches. Police believe the man had been in the water for no more than half an hour before his body was discovered. Swimmers along the coastline had been warned about strong rips in the area after 25 people were rescued. To launch a homicide inquiry. In Christchurch are investigating a possible homicide. The body of a man identified as Carl John Strachan has, has been found floating in the Heathcote River this morning. A team of detectives spent most of the morning searching the stretch of river where the body was found. But tonight they're still puzzled by how the deceased ended up in the Heathcote. The body was spotted floating face down by a passing cyclist about 7am. Police cordoned off the area and photographed the scene before the body was removed. Detectives say the man had no visible signs of injury and was fully clothed. They say he was in his mid-twenties, Caucasian, with homemade tattoos on his fingers. He was wearing a black t-shirt with a motorcycle motif on the front and a white power slogan on the back. It's not known whether the man was a member of the neo-Nazi style gang which has been feuding with another Christchurch gang. Police are having a blood sample from the deceased analysed to see if drugs played a part in his death. Mark Jennings, 3 National News.